Good morning everyone. I am Dr. R. Niranjana Devi, Assistant Professor of Physics. Now we are going to see about liquid drug model which is coming under the field of nuclear physics. Nuclear physics is a field of physics that studies atomic nuclei and their constraints and interactions. Uh, actually the precise nature of the forces acting in the nucleus is unknown. Uh, the nuclear models are resorted for investigations and theoretical predictions of its properties. So such kind of models may be based upon the extrinsic analogy between the properties of atomic nuclei and those of a liquid drop and also the electron shell of an atom. There are uh, some more kinds of uh, liquid uh, nuclear models. Uh, among which we are just uh, we can see about only four models that is liquid drop model, uh, shell model, collective model and optical model. Especially we are going to see about liquid drop model today. In the liquid drop model the forces acting in the nucleus are assumed to be analogical to the molecular forces in a droplet of some liquid. Uh, this model was proposed by Niels Bohr. And there are certain marked similarities between atomic nucleus and a liquid drop. Uh, we shall see the similarities one by one. The first one is the nucleus is supposed to be spherical in shape in the stable state. Okay, likewise, liquid drop is also spherical in shape due to the symmetrical surface tension process. And the second one is the force of surface tension acts on the surface of the liquid drop. Uh, similarly, there is a potential barrier at the surface of the nucleus. And the third point is, the density of the liquid drop is independent of its volume. Similarly, the density of the nucleus is also in independent of its volume. And the fourth point is, fourth similarity is, the intermolecular forces in a liquid are short range forces. The molecules in a liquid drop interact only with their immediate neighbors. Similarly, the nuclear forces are also short range forces. Nucleons in the nucleus also interacting with their immediate neighbors only. So, this leads to the saturation in the nuclear forces and the constant binding energy per nucleon. And the fifth point is the molecules evaporate from a liquid drop on rising the temperature of the liquid due to their increased energy of thermal agitation. Similarly, when energy is given to a nucleus by bombarding it with the nuclear projectiles, a compound nucleus is formed which emits nuclear radiations almost immediately. And the last point is, when a small drop of liquid is allowed to oscillate, it will break up into smaller drops of equal size. So the process of nuclear fission is similar and the nuclear breaks up into a smaller nuclei. Yes. So using this liquid drop model, we can obtain the expression for the binding energy of a nucleus, which has a mass number A containing Z protons and N neutrons. This is the expression for the binding energy. And uh, this equation is comprised of nearly five kinds of energy that is volume energy, surface energy, coulomb energy, symmetric energy and parent energy. Okay, let us see all the energies one by one. The first one is volume energy. In uh, the first term of this equation is called the volume energy of the nucleus. The larger the total number of nucleons, the more difficult it will be to remove uh, the individual protons and neutrons from the nucleus. So the binding energy is directly proportional to the total number of nucleons. And the second term is the surface energy. We know. Yes, the nucleons at the surface of the nucleus are not completely surrounded by other nucleons. So the energy of the nucleon on the surface is less than that its interior. So, the number of surface nucleons depends upon the surface area of the nucleus. Okay. Then the nuclear, hence the surface effect reduces the binding energy by uh, E, that is minus B. Right. So, the negative energy E is called the surface energy of the nucleus. It is most significant for the higher nuclei, since a greater fraction of their nucleons are on the surface. Then the next one is Coulomb energy. 
the coulomb energy arises because of the electrostatic repulsion between each pair of protons in the nucleus also contributes towards the decreasing its binding energy because it is a negative quantity right so the coulomb energy of nucleus is the work that must be done to bring together set protons from infinity into a volume like equal to that of the nucleus so here the ec is inversely proportional to the nuclear radius so this coulomb energy is also a negative quantity because it arises from a force that opposes nuclear stability then the fourth one is the asymmetry energy in that the fourth term that originates from the lack of symmetry between the number of protons and the number of neutrons in the nucleus so the maximum stability of nucleus occurs when n is equal to z any departure from this introduces an asymmetry n minus z which results in a decrease in stability so the decrease in the binding energy arising from this is called the asymmetry energy this is also a negative quantity and finally the pairing energy we should see about the pairing energy uh, the term del is also this allows is for the fact that even even nuclei are more stable than the other nuclei so if del is positive if that is even if the del is positive for even even nuclei and del is negative for other nuclei if del is zero for that r a alone right and uh, the best values of the constants like a b c d and del are given like a is equal to 15.76 and b is equal to 17.81 c is equal to 0.711 d is equal to 23.702 and del is equal to 34 as and this is the semi empirical mass formula figure here and in the x axis we have taken that a uh, atomic uh, the mass number a and in the y axis we have taken the binding in as b by a so if the graph is plotted Uh, and we can get the graph like this and the volume energy is alone the positive quantity and all the above quantities are negative so that okay it is expressed in this yes finally we shall discuss about the merits and demerits of the liquid drop model um uh, yes the first one is the liquid drop model accounts for many of the salient features of the nucleus such as the binding energy of the nucleus and their stability against the alpha and beta disintegrations and also it explains about the nuclear fusion also and uh, it leads to the calculation of atomic masses and binding energies with good accuracy okay we using the liquid drop model we can find out all these things and what are the demerits and it fails to explain the magic number uh, that is the magic number 28 20 50 81 126 as we know very well that right and also it fails to explain the measured spins and magnetic moments of nucleus so these are the demerits of this liquid drop model so that the shell model came right okay so um today in this class we have uh, we have seen that we have seen about the liquid drop and the similarities between the liquid drop and the atomic nuclei and also the we have derived the semi empirical mass formula also and one by one all the energies we have discussed and finally we have discussed about the merits and demerits of the liquid drop model okay thank you